Hey, if you're not familiar with my channel, my name is Aaron and Aaron Bit Nibble Bite Tech Talks is the name of it, where I try to feed you network knowledge one bit, nibble and bite at a time. So here you'll find a bunch of different videos related to networking. I kind of have a focus more on service provider type of stuff. It's where I work currently and what I really enjoy. And uh, so please have a look and I will try to continue putting out videos for y'all on Cisco and Juniper type of uh, network equipment and operating systems like Junos and iOS and iOS XE and iOS XR. All right, so come over and take a look. The um, current subscriber count is 721. I appreciate everybody that follows me and uh, just encourages me to continue to put out videos. If you are in pursuit of your JNCIA Junos certification, then you will probably uh, at one point or another find yourself looking at the Juniper.net website to get familiar with the exam objectives. This is a list of the uh, exam objectives that you should be prepared for uh, when you sit the exam and uh, what you should uh, should understand is what they're going to be testing you on. Okay, and so here you go. There they are. <laughs> I just scrolled through that really fast. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections for JN0-104. Now, you might recall that the previous one was JN0-103, and you might be wondering what the differences are. And I don't know if you can find a previous exam code on Juniper's website, but if you've ever heard of the Wayback Machine, you can take a URL like this one, paste it into the Wayback Machine, and it will tell you if you uh, are, yeah, if you can access that old web page. So the Wayback Machine crawls the internet and caches web pages. And so uh, what we find is a hit on October. Right here, it says in the month of October 5th. So there was one capture for this URL on October 5th of 2021. Well, that's really all we need is one capture to find out if this is the old page that we wanted to compare to. If you scroll down through here, you see there's one, two, three, four, five, six sections. So comparing to this one, there it's missing a section. The old one didn't have what the new one has, and that is a one of the sections. So if we go back over here, we see this was JN0-103. I have copied and pasted these in an Excel spreadsheet for easy comparison. Here we go. Here's the URLs that I was just showing you, JN0-103, JN0-104. And if you go down through here, you'll find that these are exactly the same, except for what you probably saw at the very beginning of the listing is network fundamentals. Now, I haven't taken JN0-103. I have taken JN0-102, which is even older. All right, so um, I don't know why they didn't include this in JN0-103, but the fact is, is that they have it in JN0-104, so you need to be prepared to answer questions related to these items, collision domains, broadcast domains, Basic functions of Layer 2 and Layer 3 devices, routers and switches, you know, MAC addressing, IP addressing, and subnetting, decimal to binary. All right, a lot of this stuff you'll find on my YouTube channel. I go over a lot of understanding subnetting and uh, decimal to binary conversion, conversions, supernetting, things like that. All right, I think I might even talk about connection-oriented and connectionless types of things. So just be prepared for that when you get ready to go take your JNCIA Junos exam. All right. Hey, I hope you're benefiting from these videos and they're helpful to you. If so, and you want to know when I put out new videos, 
right over here you can click on subscribe on this little hand in the bottom right corner you can even uh, share this with someone that you might uh, know that would also find these videos helpful if you like it give me a thumbs up and even comment down here where it says add a public comment and then you click the com comment button to submit it let me know if there's uh, anything that you uh, are liking about the video or if there's anything that's confusing that I might be able to provide some feedback on I like to uh, to help anyone out there along their journey if I can. All right, so um, I've really enjoyed doing this and I look forward to the next video.